welcome to the channel physics by iitians today we shall discuss very important questions from rotational spectroscopy and this questions has come in net gate uh, jest tifr exams and you will see these questions are very easy to solve and it is of 5 marks in net examination okay so my i request you to watch this video very carefully and understand how to solve the questions that are coming from rotational spectroscopy so the first question is which of the following molecule does not exhibit a rotational spectrum okay so h2 co hcl or hbr hbr so we have to understand that what are the criteria or what is the criteria for an uh, molecule for a molecule to be become become rotational spec, uh, active rotational which can give rotational spectrum okay so for a rotation uh, giving a rotational spectrum we should have a permanent dipole okay and if a rotating dipole that is the oscillating dipole is oscillating so it will emit electromagnetic radiation and that's why we get rotational spectrum because rotating dipole will give you the emission of radiation and it will give us the rotational spectrum so h2 here these options are h2 co hcl hbr h2 is homonuclear okay so it doesn't have any permanent dipole moment so it is not capable of producing rotational spectrum okay so the next question is three values of rotational energies of molecules are given below in different units one p is 10 10 sem inverse q 10 to the power 23 joule and r 10 to the power 4 megahertz so you have to uh, arrange this correctly in the increasing order of energy okay so you are given p q r p as a sem inverse means of the wavelength okay and um, or you have to understand that these are the energy values given in different energy uh, units of energy um, okay and you have to arrange these energies with, with increasing order so we have to calculate the energies cor correspond to p correspond to q corresponds to r okay so the equivalent energy for p it is in terms of the sem inverse okay so e equals to hc by lambda okay so lambda here as 10 okay you put it and you get it uh, as 9 19.8 into 10 to the power minus 27 joule okay and r is in terms of megahertz so e equals to h nu so you put e equals to h nu and you get e as 6.6 into 10 to the power minus 24 joule and q is given as 10 to the power minus 23 joule so q r q p r is the lowest energy and then q then p okay order of increasing order so r is the highest energy and then because r is 66 into 10 to the power minus 23 okay and then q that is 10 to the power minus 23 joule and this one is the lowest okay 19.8 into 10 to the power minus 27 joule so r q p highest then um, next highest then this highest okay now the next question is consider the pure rotational spectrum of a diatomic rigid rotor the separation between two consecutive lines in the spectrum okay so you have to consider the separation uh, or lines separation lines between the two uh, rotational spectrum that is the is di directly proportional to the moment of inertia of the rotor is inversely proportional to the momentum of mo moment of inertia of the rotor depends on the angular momentum or is directly proportional to the square of the interatomic separation so you have to know the formula okay so rotational energy formula or er or you have to under know the formula between the uh, line separation that is delta nu bar and it is directly equals to 2b where b equals to h cross divided by 4 pi ic so 2 into b will become h cross divided by 2 pi ic where i is the moment of inertia okay so if there are two atoms of different kind okay and they have a center of mass along this axis this is the center of mass axis and the separation between them is r so r moment of inertia will be i equals to mu into r square where mu is the reduced mass okay so here you see here that delta nu this nu bar that is the separation between the two rotational line 
is directly proportional to h cross and inversely proportional to i okay so delta nu bar is inversely proportional to i or in terms of separation between the in, uh, atoms or internuclear distance you have to write it as delta nu is proportional to 1 by r square since i equals to mu into r square so here the separation is inversely proportional to the moment of inertia of the rotor okay so the next question is in the microwave spectrum of identical rigid diatomic molecules the separation between the spectral line is recorded to be 0.7143 semi inverse the moment of inertia of the molecule so you are given the separation between the lines as 0.7143 centimeter inverse and you have to find out the moment of inertia yeah friends we have to apply the same formula which we applied last time so here delta nu has been given that is 0.7143 centimeter inverse okay so what will be i so delta nu is equals to 2b so 2b equals to 0.7143 so b equals to 0.7143 divided by 2 or you put the value of b as h cross y 4 pi i c will be equals to 0.7143 divided by 2 so i become 7.8 into 10 to the power minus 46 kg meter to the power minus 2 okay this one the answer now the next question is pure rotational spectrum of a diatomic molecule consists of two equally spaced lines three equally spaced lines many equally spaced lines no regular pattern i give this question as our quiz so many of the uh, our friends has put this one correct two equally spaced line but this is not correct my friends the pure rotational spectrum of any molecule whether it is diatomic or not i mean it will be consist of many equally spaced lines let us see suppose we are seeing the rotational spectrum of hcl it is a diatomic molecule because one atom is h another is cl look here it is consisted of different equally spaced lines okay and the spacing between the two lines is yes 2b okay also if you want to study it more you see here how is it coming look here the there are different levels because ej will be ej that is rotational energy it is constant term into j into j plus 1 so for j equals to 0 ej will become 0 because a into 0 into 0 plus 1 okay that is 0 for j equals to 1 ej will be 1 into 1 plus 1 that is 2 for j equals to 3 uh, 2 it will become if you take it as b here b so 2 into b uh, if j equals to 2 so b into 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 6b okay so here as uh, it is going like this way so if we are, you are considering the delta j that is 0 plus minus 1 so you have to consider this the different transitions between these different levels okay and plus minus 1 you are taking it and you are getting for 1 to 0 transition you are getting this line from 2 to 1 transition you are getting this line from 3 to 2 transition you are getting this line for 4 to 3 transition you are getting this line delta j equals to plus minus 1 okay so here look they are equally spaced with the separation value of 2b and it is consist of consisting of different equally spaced lines not two lines okay so many equally spaced lines the c is the answer the next question is the moment of inertia of two point masses about an axis through their center of mass in a plane perpendicular to the massless rigid rod is given by so the reduced mass is given and the separation between the point masses is also given suppose this is one point another uh, mass and this is another point mass separation r not is given okay and moment of uh, reduced mass mu is also given so i will be yes i will be mu into r not square okay so the next question it is also it is from net uh, csir net okay so the question is the first absorption spectrum of c12 o16 is at 3.842 centimeter inverse while that of 13 c16 o is at 3.673 centimeter inverse the ratio of their moment of inertia okay so you have to understand the question look here what has been given the given the value is the first absorption spectrum that is from suppose this is 0 to 1 absorption not emission so it will not become uh, 1 to 0 it will become 0 to 1 okay this transition 
from j equals to 0 to j equals to 1 has been given one for this atom another for this atom okay and uh, this molecule and these are the isotopes look here the c12 here c13 here okay and you have to uh, find out the ratio of the moment of inertia if this moment of inertia is i1 and this uh, for this molecule this moment of inertia is i2 then you have to find out the ratio of the moment of inertia so we have given the separation okay so separation is 2b1 because delta nu1 okay and delta nu1 or 2b1 b is 0 0.3 3.842 semi inverse for the second case 2b2 is 3.673 semi inverse okay now b is proportional to 1 by i okay because b is h cross by 4 pi i c so you take the ratio of i2 by i1 you get equals to b, b1 by b2 so b1 has given as 3.842 divided by 2 and b2 has given as 3.673 divided by 2 so you solve it and you find it at 1.046 so option c is the answer the next question Consider the hydrogen deuterium molecule HD. If the mean distance between the two atoms is 0 0.08 nanometer and the mass of the hydrogen atom is 938 mega electron volt by c square, uh, then the energy difference delta E between the two lowest rotational states is approximately. So, if E0 is the lowest energy state and E1 is the next uh, first excited state, you have to calculate the de delta E that is the difference between E1 and E0 for HD molecule where the mean distance is given between R0 that is between H and D is given and mass of the hydrogen is also given okay so what you have to do first you take the values uh, that are given okay so the 0 0.8 nanometer the separation has been given okay so J for J equals to 0 1 2 3 we have this energy eigen value rotational energy value so consider for e0 case the lowest energy are j equals to 0 we get e0 as 0 e1 that is j equals to 1 e1 will be 2a e2 will be 6a where a is this constant term okay because look here for uh, 2 that is 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 3 you get as 6 okay so the f you have to find out delta e between e0 and e1 so it is of 2a okay 2a is 2 into h cross square by 2i okay and you have to find out that 2 2 will be cancelled out so h cross by i h cross square by i so i have to you have to find out so i equals to mu into r0 square r0 is also given or r square r is given as 0 0.8 nanometer and mu will be mh into md divided by mh plus md so md is mh will be mh md will be 2 into mh deuterium divided by mh plus 2 mh so mu reduced mass will become 2 by 3 mh so put the values in this uh, delta e term h cross square by i okay i you write as i equals to mu into r square mu is also you can find r is also has been given r has been given so you find it as 10 to the power minus 2 electron volt okay if you have to calculate the energy difference between the first level and second level then you have to take the difference these two so it will become 4a or 4 into h cross square by 2y okay now i want to give you some home homework please pause the video and note this uh, down okay and give me the answer comment your answer in the comment section this is the first homework for you okay let me uh, read the question match the typical spectra of stable molecules with the corresponding wave number range okay electronic spectra rotational spectra molecular dissociation and the next question is the moment of inertia of a rigid diatomic molecule a is six times that of another rigid diatomic molecule b if the rotational energies of the two molecules are equal then the corresponding values of the rotational quantum number j a and j b are how much okay so i think you can understand and you can solve these questions and please comment your answer in the comment section if you like this f f video if you find this video is helpful don't forget to like don't forget to share with your friends if you want to uh, 
participate in active discussion you can join our telegram channel physics by iitians and also you can uh, support us by clicking the uh, link given in the description box thank you for watching this video